tree in the house? Presents? What's this all about? Let's find out in Disney's 101 Dalmatians, The Puppy's First Christmas. One winter evening, Pongo and Perdita were with their puppies when a rustling noise caught their attention. They all turned as Roger and Nanny hauled a huge tree into the parlor. What's going on? Roly asked. Don't worry, dear, said Perdita. The parlor floor was covered in pine needles, boxes of ornaments, tinsel garlands, and strings of small lights. The puppies looked on as their human pets began acting very strangely. When the tree was finished, the lights and shiny ornaments cast a magical glow about the room. That night, when Pongo and Perdita tucked the puppies into their basket, they told them all about Christmas. It's a time when people show their families and friends how much they care for them, Pongo said. Perdita continued, on Christmas Eve, people put presents under the tree to show their love. Christmas is about giving, Pongo told the puppies. I wonder if we'll get any presents, said Roly. I hope someone loves us, said Pepper. You are all loved, whether or not there are presents under the tree, Perdita said. Now, time for bed. Tomorrow is a big day. On Christmas morning, the puppies woke at dawn. They crept into the parlor. Sure enough, there were piles of brightly wrapped packages under the tree. We are loved, Pepper cried. The puppies dove into the pile of presents. They tossed the packages around and ripped and tore at the colored paper. Lucky pulled open a box. Perfume, he said, and wrinkled his nose. Penny dragged a spotted necktie out of some tissue paper. Just then, they heard Roger and Anita's voices in the hallway. Let's get out of here, Roly said. The puppies hid and trembled when they heard Roger's footsteps. He stopped in the doorway, surprised. The puppies looked at each other uncertainly. Anita started to laugh. Roger chuckled too and said, looks like we had some help opening our gifts. Then, with a twinkle in his eye, he called, Here, pups! There are still so many boxes to unwrap, Anita said. I do wish they'd come help. One by one, the puppies crept from their hiding spots. They gathered around the tree as Roger pulled out more packages. Go for it, boys and girls! The puppies tore into the bright wrappings and the tangled ribbons. When the puppies grew tired of rolling around in the wrapping paper, Anita brought out a large basket. She handed each puppy a squeaky toy. We like Christmas, Pepper said. But remember what we told you about Christmas? Perdita asked. It's a time for giving. It's also about forgiving, Pongo said. You were lucky that Roger and Anita weren't upset you unwrapped their presents. The puppies' heads drooped a little. We're lucky we have two wonderful humans, Perdita said. We are loved, Penny said. She smiled. You are all, each and every one of you, loved, Perdita assured her children. And that's what Christmas is really all about, Pongo said, as the puppies drifted off to sleep. That's the end of another story. I hope you enjoy your holiday. Happy reading.